bullshit. It's bullshit. We know she came through here. Now where'd she go? Do you know who I am? Yes, I do, and I don't care. Why I feel sorry for John Walker. John Walker has had it rough in the MCU. From having to carry the weight of the expectations of America on his shoulders to watching his best friend die, John has shown time and time again that he is no Captain America and that he's willing to make the rash decisions that one wouldn't be able to sleep well at night. But throughout his journey as Cap, we get to see and learn more about him. Unlike most people, I actually try to understand him and his actions, but to clarify, this doesn't mean that I support what he does. From his starting point to the end of his journey in the series, it made a whole lot of sense. He didn't feel one noted or wasted, I think they introduced him perfectly and I'm excited to see where they take him, especially with Madame Hydra recruiting him and titling him as the brand spanking punch first ask questions later US agent. But let's get back onto what this video is solely about. How are I feel kind of sorry for John's treatment in the MCU. This guy just couldn't catch a break. Things were going swimmingly for him at the start. He saw this guy, the so-called perfect soldier in all his glory, tested, awarded, and adored by the fans. He was truly in his element. But when shit started to go down, his true test began, and we got to see how he performed in actual combat. And honestly, he did all right for a rookie, but you could see how his movements were sloppy, reactions were quick, but left him exposed too often. You could see the confidence in him, but also the dissatisfaction whenever he failed to accomplish his objective. That's flaw number one. His second was his attitude. In my previous video, I mentioned how he would let his emotions slash temper get the better of him. And this was typically when people didn't pay him the respect that he supposedly deserved. Notice how every time John introduced himself, he would always say, John Walker, Captain America. John Walker, Captain America. He was so obsessed with his image, it became his standing point. Thinking back on it, John probably thought that he checked all the boxes of becoming Captain America, all apart from one, super strength. This was his third overwhelming problem. I could get a sense that John slowly became less focused on the mission and more focused on his self-worth as Captain America. That's when the Super Soldier Serum comes into the fray. After snagging the last vial of the Soldier Serum, John hides it and considers whether to take it or not. He asks Lamar for advice and here's where things go slightly downhill. The advice Lamar gives him makes sense, but in Walker's case, this would only steer him closer down this deluded dark path. He's constantly told he's perfect and he deserves this, but he doesn't feel like that deep down. And when push comes to shove and John needs to make his choice and choose his path, he arguably chooses the wrong path. And in the end, I couldn't help but feel some sense of disrelish for the guy, but also pity. But let me recap on what's happened so far and justify why I feel this way for him. Alright, so picture this, a guy who's made some undisclosed mistakes, he's worked so hard to prove himself and once given the opportunity, becomes the next symbol of hope for the nation he's fought for. Of course, he's going to feel on top of the world, beaming with pride and confidence and willing to make things right. Now, let's have that same person be treated like an annoyance by his allies, a simple pain in the arse or a headache that just won't go away, always being one step behind always having to chase after Sam and Bucky from being spat in the face to getting his ass handed to him by a super soldier teen and Wakanda's highly trained warriors. I would imagine that the moment Walker took up the shield, he'll be ready for anything. But after all of that, who wouldn't doubt their self-worth as America's hero? They weren't even super soldier. But that's not all. Let's have him take the serum thinking that will fulfill his purpose, but have his best friend the one person that reminds him that he's a good guy at the end of the day and what he's doing for America, no, the world, is right. Be killed right before him. Now admittingly, I saw this coming, but that alone was enough for John to mentally say, enough is enough, I'm going to take down this girl no matter what. And so, we all know what happens next. It wasn't me! John has
has hit his breaking point. And although this horrifying shot perfectly displays that, I can't help but think, poor guy. Now, of course, I feel the same way for the victim as well, who was brutally murdered, because in one other scene, he was speaking to Carly about how he used to look up to Captain America when he was a kid, but to then unfortunately be murdered by the next Captain America is just tragically ironic. To clarify once again, I'm not trying to justify his actions or to come across like I support them. At the end of the day, John Walker, America's icon, brutally murdered a defenseless war criminal in a foreign country. For whatever his reason may be, that act alone stripped him of his precious title, but I understand why he did it, which is why I have some sort of sympathy for him, but I don't like nor support the method he took. I hope that clarifies everything for whoever's watching. So those are my thoughts on John Walker. In the end, I believe that John isn't so much of a bad guy, he's just done something that didn't justify taking someone's life. His emotions clearly clouded his judgement, but at least he didn't walk away unpunished. I don't know. I'm not all that familiar with the guy in the comics and how he is, I'm basing this off how the show has betrayed him. I'm honestly excited to see more of the US agent in the MCU, and hopefully, you are too. Thanks for watching.